This is a Walt Disney original little long playing record, and I am your Disneyland story reader. I am going to begin now to read the story of Alice in Wonderland and how she met the White Rabbit. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when Tinkerbell rings her little bells like this. Let's begin now. Do you know where Wonderland is? It is the place you visit in your dreams, the strange and wondrous place where nothing is as it seems. It was in Wonderland that Alice met the White Rabbit. He was hurrying across the meadow, looking at his pocket watch and saying to himself, I'm late, I'm late for an important date. I'm in a stew, oh, oh, can't even say goodbye. Hello, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. He hopped across the brook and disappeared into a hollow tree. That's curious, said Alice. A rabbit who wears a waistcoat and carries a watch and can talk. He's in such a hurry, he must be going to a party. I surely would like to go too. So Alice followed him. What a peculiar place to give a party, she thought as she pushed her way into the hollow tree. But before she could think any more, she began to slide on some slippery white pebbles inside, and then she began to fall. Curious and curiouser, said Alice as she floated slowly down past cupboards and lamps, a rocking chair, past clocks and mirrors she met in midair. By the time she reached the bottom and landed with a thump, the white rabbit was disappearing through a tiny little door, too small for Alice to follow him. Poor Alice. She was all alone in Wonderland, where nothing was just what it seemed. You know how things are in dreams. Whenever she ate a bite of cake or took a sip to drink, she would shoot up tall or grow so tiny she was sometimes afraid she would vanish quite away. She met other animals, yes, indeed, strange talking animals too. They tried to be as helpful as they could, but they couldn't help her find the white rabbit. And I really must find him, Alice thought, though she wasn't sure just why. So on she wandered through Wonderland, all by her lonely self. At last, she reached a neat little house in the woods with pink shutters and a little front door that opened and out came the white rabbit. Oh, my twitching whiskers, he was saying to himself. He seemed very much upset. Then he looked up and saw Alice standing there. Mary Ann, he said sharply. Why, Mary Ann, what are you doing here? Well, don't just do something. Stand there. No, go get my gloves. I'm very late. But late for what? That's just what I... Alice began to ask. My gloves, said the white rabbit firmly. And Alice dutifully went to look for them, though she knew she wasn't Mary Ann. When she came back, the white rabbit was just disappearing through the woods again. So off went Alice, trying to follow him through that strange, mixed-up wonderland. She met Tweedledee and Tweedledum, a funny little pair. She joined a mad tea party with the Mad Hatter and the March Hare. She met a Cheshire cat who faded in and out of sight. And one strange creature, Jabberwock, whose eyes flamed in the night. They all were very kind, but they could not show Alice the way until... Meow! There is a shortcut, she heard the Cheshire cat say. So Alice took it. The shortcut led into a garden where gardeners were busy painting roses red. Now we must hurry, they said. For the queen is coming. And sure enough, a trumpet blew, and a voice called, Big Queen! 
for the Queen of Hearts. Then out came a grand procession. And who should be the royal trumpeter for the cross-looking queen but the white rabbit, all dressed up and looking very fine. Well, said Alice, so this is why he was hurrying so. Who are you? snapped the queen. Do you play croquet? I'm Alice, and I'm just on my way home. Thank you for the invitation, but I really mustn't stay. So, cried the queen, so she won't play. Off with her head then. But Alice was tired of Wonderland now and all its nonsensical ways. Pooh, she said, I'm not frightened of you. You're nothing but a pack of cards. And with that, she ran back through that land of dreams, back to the river bank where she had fallen asleep. Hmm, she said as she rubbed her eyes. I'm glad to be back where things are what they seem. I've had quite enough for now of Wonderland. <laughs>